me people i'm back with another video and today i have a quick dollar tree haul for you all slash amazon haul my amazon portion is really really small i only got two items um but i did want to show you what i picked up because they were some amazing deals and then i found a lot of cool rhinestones and different nail art items at my local dollar tree so i just wanted to share that with you all so i'm gonna hop right on into this i found some uh, letter stickers so I normally get my nail stickers from Shein, but I found a really good deal on these. Um, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these packs of stickers. And I only paid um, $3.18 for this. So this was well worth it because normally for one pack of stickers on Shein, I would pay a dollar for it. So let me show you all the different colors of the stickers that I got. So these are like old English letters. And I realized I didn't have any like letters. So if I wanted to like spell out a name or like have a cool saying on my nails, I wouldn't be able to do that. So that's why I went ahead and got these. So yeah, I have it in the color black. Again, I got these from Amazon. I will have them linked down below. I also have it in the color gold. These are really pretty. I have it in silver. Okay, it's the alphabet. I have it in rose gold, which was like so freaking stunning. Loved it. I have it in white. So that's really pretty. I barely see that one though. Then I have it in like a hollow gold. So there's like a nice shift to it. I also have it in this beautiful kind of fuchsia pink color or purpley color. And then I have it in like a hollow silver. So yeah, for $3.18, y'all, I mean, you really cannot beat this. I got all these stickers. So yeah, so I picked that up. I also picked up some rhinestones, you guys. So I have to give a shout out to Short Nail Life. I was on her channel and y'all, she be doing some bomb hauls and especially for like Amazon items getting them low priced, like she knows how to find the deals. And so she had featured these rhinestones on her channel and she paid $3 for them. When, as soon as I saw your video, I clicked the link and I purchased. These were only $2.69, you guys. Like that is a crazy deal. So let me show you all what all came in this little kit here. Um, the ones that she got on her video were slightly different, but I still was like, any rhinestones or charms for that low of a price, I'll take it. And it came with such a good variety. So let me take all of this out. So this is what comes in this little box. So you get a wax pencil and you get some tweezers. And then you get these beautiful rhinestones, you guys. Look at how gorgeous these are. These are like kind of like a fiery red, kind of orange looking color. This is perfect for like the spring and summertime. Like, oh my goodness. Like, do y'all see the shift in these? Like, these look so beautiful. So I like this pack because it came in like all the different sizes, as you can see. So that was gorgeous. And then the real, re the real reason I got these, y'all, was look at these chunky, look at these large rhinestones. Oh my gosh, do y'all see the shift in these? Like, oh my goodness. I was so excited when I clicked that link and it was, this was actually the last one that was there. And so I made the purchase. So I know by the time this video goes up, unfortunately y'all likely won't be able to get your hands on it. But if I can find something similar, that's still a good price. I will link it for you all in the description. But y'all, aren't these just gorgeous though? Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And I love the different shapes that it come in. So we have like a star, but it's like a different type of star here. So we have the star, we got a moon here. I don't know what shape that is, but that's there. Kind of like an oval looking shape, a teardrop shape here. And then we have another kind of wider teardrop shape. But y'all, I just love the color shift in these and I thought it was a great deal. So got those from Amazon. And any other deals that I can find on Amazon, I'll definitely be sure to share them all with you. So now I'm gonna hop into the rhinestones that I got from my local Dollar Tree. I did pick up quite a few um, just because I've tested them before and I did like them. So I have two different types. I'm gonna show them separately. So I found these. These are just like rhinestone stickers. And I thought these were really cute. Um, so they, they came in this green color and these actually have a really nice like shift to them. Like I know they're not like the highest quality rhinestones, but I'm going to be practicing a lot more nail art. I have a silicone practice hand now. And so I don't want to be using my nicer, well, nicer in my book, um, rhinestones to just do practice with. So I bought these so that I can, you know, be practicing with some different designs and stuff. So I got it in the color green. I also got it in the color red. Okay, and then I got it in the color blue. 
I got it in the color pink as well. Okay, so that's it for these here. I also picked up these kind of rhinestones too. I really like this pack because it had all the different sizes in it. But yeah, I thought these would be kind of fun to play around with. And then also too with these like bling type sticker thingies. Um, you can also, if you have an item that you like that looks kind of boring, you can kind of bling it out. Like for instance, I actually bought some um, storage containers that I don't really like the look of. So maybe I'll like bling them out with some of these um, rhinestones. But yeah, you don't have to just use them for nail art. You can also use them to kind of bling out and do some DIY projects and craft projects. I also picked up these kinds of rhinestones. So I just thought these were kind of cute. So these have like, um, like, rhin like rhinestone cluster flower looking things with zigzags. And then the same one here but it's like multicolored. So I thought that was kind of cute. I picked that up. It looks like I have another one of those uh, circular rhinestones and these are um, in the color yellow. I found these, I thought these were really cool. So I'm actually wanting to do some galaxy nails. I have a purple um, McCart kit that I really want to try out. And so I thought these were going to be I thought these would be cool to kind of put in that look. So I have these to maybe do some galaxy nails, but these kind of have like a cool shift to them. And they have purple, green, pink, lavender. So yeah, I thought these were nice. I also picked up some more of these artificial nail tips. These I actually use for my silicone practice hand and these work wonders. Um, so I picked up three of these and I got these as a suggestion from um, a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Amo Love. So thank you so much for this suggestion. Um, these have been working out really well for me. So I picked these up. Um, I also picked up these nail stickers. I don't know why I picked these up to be honest with you. I was thinking I could do like some really extravagant nail art with them. I mean, as y'all can see, I do like to, you know, go big with my charms and stuff on my nail sets which by the way if y'all are wondering about how I got this look I do have tutorials on both of these sets they will be linked down in the description box in case you want to check it out okay okay but y'all see how I do slightly extra so I don't, know, I don't know I saw these and I thought they might be kind of cool to play around with on the nail but they are pretty big so yeah we'll see what I end up doing with these I also picked up some more of these line art brushes I just really like these I use these a lot um so I picked up a white and a silver I have them almost in every color I also found here this um, powder brush which I really liked I plan on using this for um, like when I do my nail powders I thought this is really cute it kind of matches the decor in my room and so you know doing dip powder just to kind of dust the nail off so I thought that was really pretty but it's supposed to be like a makeup powder brush but I got it for nail art purposes okay I only have a few more items here. I picked up a couple of these um, blush kits, these blush palettes. Uh, one's an eyeshadow palette, and then, yeah, two of these are eyeshadow palettes and two of these are blush palettes. I got these for the purposes of trying to maybe chrome my nails. Um, and if I end up using them for eyeshadow, that's fine too. But I got them to kind of keep in my nail room and then in case I wanna, in case I kinda wanna try some chrome nails. So I feel like these powders and pigments are kind of all the same when it comes to, you know, beauty. Um, you know, people multi people multi-purpose these things for more than just, you know, their original intended purpose. And so yeah, I just got a couple of different colors here to kind of play around with and see if I can maybe do a chrome look and or um, maybe create my own custom, you know, acrylic or something like that. So just, just something random I picked up and just want to play around with. So I got these. Actually, I think I got this one to actually use on myself. But the rest of these I got for my nail room. So yeah, I got these. I'll uh, do a tutorial and show you all how I try to put these to use. And I also picked up some more... Um, Press on nails. I really like the press on nails from Dollar Tree. I thought these were really cute. They actually got stiletto press on nails now. So yeah, I really want to try these out. I do have a press on nail series going on on my channel right now where I apply press on nails using different mediums. Um, so far I've done it using Gouda Gel, acrylic, extend gel, oh, and then adhesive tabs. But I plan to do a uh, super glue and try out a couple of different acrylics. Um, as well i want to try with poly gel etc so just so you know there is a series on my channel going on for that so be on the lookout for future press on nail videos but i thought these were really cute too these are like some cheetah print with like that gold kind of chrome at the bottom like these are just really beautiful I like this a lot and then here's another stiletto and this one is in the color pink 
So you can never go wrong with some cute press on nails. I did pick up this cute little dish here from my Dollar Tree. It's like a trinket um, dish. And I like it so much because it's like in the shape of like a little cat. And it did actually have a cat face in it, but I've actually used this since I hauled it. Um, but I wanted to mention it because I got it from Dollar Tree. But I really like this a lot. I use this primarily for alcohol and when I'm doing like nail art and stuff. This can also be used as like, um, an, um, like a daffin dish as well. But I mainly use it just for alcohol, for nail art. But the thing I like about it most is that because it has those ears, I can actually set my brush on it while I am doing my nail art, which I really, really enjoy that. So I have a, a dappin dish that I got from Shein and I like it because it, it's a, in the shape of a crown and I can set my brush on it. I'm excited that I found this at my Dollar Tree. It was only $1.25, but yeah, I love the fact that you can kind of set your brush down while you're working on it. So I randomly saw this in like the aisle where you can get like photo albums and stuff. Like I just was walking through and it just happened to be sitting there and I was like, oh, I think I can use this in my nail room. And you guys, I've been using this thing non-stop since I got it. So I'm so happy I picked this up. This was a great purchase. And then the last thing I picked up here is some roll on um, aromatherapy oil. So I actually use these as cuticle oil. So it has, it's a roller and I just take the top off and I just roll it around my cuticle area. It's been working out wonderful. I also have another one um, that I currently use. This one right here. I got this in a previous haul from Dollar Tree and I like it because you can open it up and it has a dropper. You can drop it right on your cuticle. And then I also like the fact that this one is roll on. So it makes it a lot easier, you know, to oil your cuticle. So I picked these up from Dollar Tree. Actually, there's a few more items that I want to show you that I forgot to mention. So I picked this up. They actually had just put their like a, the big box out of this. And so I thought this was kind of nice. It is a storage container where you can, let me see if I can zoom out some. Yeah, so where you can open it like this and then it's just a lot of storage. I thought these would be useful for maybe those who have maybe have glitters or like these small containers like this. So in here I have actually some DIY charms that I made. Um, so that's what they look like. These are just some DIY charms, but these tiny little containers, you can stack them in here, right? And you can get, you know, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, maybe like 20 of them in here going across. And then they're short enough to where you can do two rows of them. So you can fit like 40 different, uh, 40 of those small containers in here, you know, in one location. So I thought that was pretty cool. So. As I start to play around with like, you know, making my own like homemade acrylics, my own DIY acrylic mixes and gels and things like that, I think these storage containers will come in handy. The last storage container that I picked up is this. I actually got this from my Super Dollar Tree. They have like different sections where you can, where the items are more than just a dollar or a dollar 25. Um, so I picked these up. I thought these were really cool. I got these for the purposes says, of like my chunky charms, right? So yeah, I thought these were really cool. And actually, I plan to go ahead and organize these rhinestones in there. So the ones that I got from Dollar Tree, I picked up a couple of these. So I want to just kind of store any of my rhinestones that I got from Dollar Tree. And actually any of kind of like my lower quality rhinestones, I kind of want to put in this box and this will be kind of like my practice box for um, rhinestones that I want to use. Cause I do have a silicone hand and I want to do more practice. And so, yeah, I don't want to use my good rhinestones on that. So I got some of these so that I can just play around and be creative. So yeah, this I'll probably be putting that in here. So let me know if you all want to see a video of me actually organizing my rhinestones from Dollar Tree into this container. I can definitely make that for you. Um, so yeah, that's actually everything that I got. This is everything that I picked up from my local Dollar Tree with the addition of a few items from Amazon. But yeah, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what your favorite item is that I hauled. I'm definitely loving these little rhinestones that I found and these really cute press on nails, okay? Actually, my favorite thing from this haul is from Amazon. These right here, this is probably my favorite thing from this haul, but this was from Amazon, not from Dollar Tree. Make sure you all are going to your local Dollar Tree, checking um, every single aisle to see if you can find some different type of goodies for your nail room because I found a ton of stuff. Um, and again, another one of my favorite items that I got is this little cat bowl here. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I would love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next
next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!